What's up guys and gals and welcome back to War Tile. My name is Splattercat. We are desperately defending a boat that belongs to a bunch of very angry, angry draugers. Like super, I almost said angry. They're so mad that they threw the R at us. And we're protecting ourselves right now from draugers. I need to take the high ground like right this second. While he destroys the boat, I realized that I was in a disadvantageous position right there. I think that might have been a better choice, but there was no guarantee they were going to come. Oh, he gave me that. He gave me that good position. Okay. Where's that guy going to step in from? You moved to right there. And there you go. That's what I... Uh-oh. There's another one around the back. Attack him from the flank. Attack him from the flank. Spear his butt. It's the only way to stop zombies. You got to attack the weak point. The butt. That's the weak point on a lot of different creatures. Some people don't know that, but, you know, you attack the butt on most creatures. And they will subside. They will 100% stop bothering you. Ooh, that dude's not playing. All right. Let's force him into a bad position and flank him. If he wants to leave himself wide open like that, who am I to argue? He needs health, but we've mostly killed all the Draugers? So I think we might be safe out here. If you haven't seen this game, it's called War Tile. It's an RTS turn-based strategy hybrid where you play as Vikings on a really exquisitely designed board game interface to slay thine enemies. Are there just like frogs popping out everywhere over here? Like, where are these frogs coming from? Hmm... They appear to be dug in pretty deep. Oh, that guy busted on out of his hole. Maybe they spawn from right there? Alright, I'll use the tears of or the touch of ire on you. Just to make sure that we get something done over here. We gotta kill this boat though. We gotta kill this boat like right now. Get some damage off on that thing. Hack it to pieces. Don't let it do its thing. You go over to there. I'm not trying to play any booby traps right now because I don't really have the resources to do it. You guys both take high positions right there. I'm always a fan of the high position. You give me a situation and I'll take the high position on it. Believe me. Every single time. From there, that guy went down very quickly. Let's put Shieldy out in front. That's his new nickname. I've got Shieldy and I've got Stabby. That's their two names. Shieldy and Stabby. Some people have trouble remembering the names, but don't worry. They'll remind you. You pick up some frogs. Yeah, go get you some frogs. There you- hey, pick up that frog. There you go. We've picked up many frogs today. Frogs while we fight with draugers. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get around him. I get around. Get around, round, round, woo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That dude's gonna go down and he's been fragmented already. Let's keep on wailing away at that individual. They said I had to find- ah, there it is. They said I had to find, like, a secret apothecary or something like that in order to get one of our quests done. It does look like it's still spawning undead invaders who are not fans of our meteoric advance towards them. Archimatus advance? I don't know. I'm gonna send one person out to flank and we'll see what he does next. I don't know if we take attacks of opportunity or anything like that, but we're gonna pin him in nice and deep if we can manage it. So the second that he moves... Oh, the game freezes while you're in a move phase. That's an interesting way to pause the game is by picking up a piece and just kind of staring and trying to keep track of what you got going on. Let's keep on stabbing. Each one of these guys gives us a chance at getting another bit of energy so that we can cast more touch of irons on ourselves and make sure that we stay nice and fed. We don't get XP or anything like that, I don't think, from killing the bad guys, but eh, it's good enough for me. What do I need? Too many things to keep track of? You guys know that when Splattercat got too many things to keep track of, what is that right there? What does that do? The boats. Oh, I gotta kill one more boat. We have more than enough frogs, but we haven't taken care of enough boats yet. And the spear guy's out front. It sort of worries me that he's out front. Pull him back, and we'll... He's taking the high position right there, which I'm somewhat okay with. You guys just kind of hit him head on. We are Vikings, after all. If we can't take our position in the shield wall, we will attempt to take our position... Just sort of everywhere, anywhere, beard hairs flying in the wind. Let's go off this way. See, I've had dinner now. The last time the last time I was recording an episode, I was recording hungry. Now I've had dinner. So I'm coming in with that full force splatter cat that I know you guys know and love. Let's pick up that frog. He's in the way of our boats right now. We'll chop that one up to pieces, and then we will move this guy into position. We'll find whoever this old witch is that we're supposed to be aware of. And we will use her powers to get us set up. Spear guy's in the front. I don't like that. Let's set up right here. That guy's gonna take at least one or two hits before he's able to do much else. Let's wheel on into a flanking position, make sure that he takes the maximum amount of damage to his little health meter. And I think we should be able to have him settled 
before too long. Actually, he's taking a lot more damage than I expected. I could have been wrong here. How are you going to get a glancing blow from behind? Just stab him in the butt better. Stab him in the butt more efficiently. Come on, Vikings. I believe in you. Is that like poison gas? I don't know what that is, but we got a mortar and pestle over here, so... We did the yellow toad quest, which is pretty badass. That should allow us to have... I don't know, extra treasure at the end of the map or something? Let's head on back to the boats. So our objectives were as follows. We had to pick up the Helm of Hell. We had to gather a bunch of frogs so that we could make a poison with the mortar and pestle. And then we just had to extract with everybody on the landing craft. As you leave with the Skull of Hell, the curse seems to lift from the swamp. With a sense of being a pawn in a game between the gods, you realize that you need to reclaim the control of your fate. Alright, let's see how we did. I think I probably went a little bit slowly right there. I doubt that I got the full bonus for just going straight ham mode through it. But we did kill a lot of bad guys, so I think that should get us some extra points. 24 enemies slain. That's actually kind of surprising to me how many of them we killed. That gave us a lot of goodies. Actually, we did it pretty fast by comparison to the last mission. Okay, final score came out at 3,000. We got 200 more gold. We picked up a bunch more of those little artifacts. We also picked up some random pieces of gear from around that I think that'll be pretty good. We've got, what is that? The Curse of Old Age. We've also got a new figurine that can be hired at the tavern. It looks like he's actually got himself some pretty nice gear. We'll go and have that a look right now. Let's do some management, shall we? Uh, some people might not like the management phases, but I like them. I think they're pretty sweet. Like, I like that I get to move things around and equip my little figurines with gear and whatnot. Makes me happy. Let's go over to the tavern. He's 25 gold. That's like nothing. This guy is a trained and dedicated Viking warrior. Brought up fighting in the front ranks of the shield wall. He has proved, or he has long proved his loyalty and strength in raids. With primary defensive attributes, this warrior works well soaking up blows from the enemy, leaving the damage dealing to other members of the warband. Okay, so he don't hit that hard, but he's pretty much doing the exact same thing. Oh, he's got a taunt, too. Oh. Alright. So with his taunt, I think that should open up some extra tactical options. He's also got shield wall, a defensive stance, gaining 60 defensive skill for 20 seconds. That's probably pretty bang up. And then on top of that, he's got Shield Push, which deals 10 damage and allows us to push back idle units so that we can get them up out of the way and maybe maneuver into a better tactical position. Absolutely, he can join our Shield Wall. Jump on in, amigo. You are welcome. Other things we have going on right now. We've got some new stuff. we got the Skull of Hell. Gives a 10% chance to summon a Lost Norse whenever you get hit. On my side? If so, put the helmet on him. Dude, that's so badass. I am such a fan of what's going on right now. That worn shield, I'll probably just throw to the wind. I don't think we need it. This guy over here, though, he's got a busted-ass shield. Let's give him a better shield. We'll also throw a helmet on him so that defensive-wise, he's doing a little bit better for the line. He also needs something like this right here. So let's give him a greater defense token. It sounds like a good idea. Since his principal use seems to be defensive uses... He's also got Taunt right there. Those are all the abilities. He's got some of those things locked. I don't really know how we unlock those. I assume as he goes on more raids, possibly. We got the Curse of Old Age. Stuns the target enemy for 8 seconds. Not bad. I think that'll be pretty nice to use as well. Although it does cost us mana, so we'll have to keep that in mind. With customization on some of my other characters, he's got Action Surge now. The Spearman gains plus 1 movement, 50% reduced attack and movement cooldown for 15 seconds. So that just makes him like a flurry of blades getting rid of the enemy. He's also got himself another slot for a token, so let's make him a little bit more damaging. Did Hakon get the same thing? Oh, he did. We'll give him a little bit more defense then so he can protect himself a little bit better. He's already got a lot of defense, but I don't think it's really too huge of a problem. We've got Mirkwood Epaulettes. Okay. I'll probably sell the shield for 20. And with some of the other stuff that I have around, is there anything better I can give people for weapons? Yeah, let's go with a shoddy battle axe, I think. There you go. We'll get the shoddy battle axe, and I should be able to equip that on Hack-On. It's got a better attack value, and it's got a better damage value. So I think all around, it should be a good weapon to have. Can I, like, arrange these Diablo style? No, it looks like it has an internal grid or something like that. Remember with the old Diablo games and like old RPGs like Ultima where you could just put things wherever you wanted in your bag? I kind of miss that. I don't know why I miss that, but I kind of do. Let's go to the world map. We got to load up our war squad here. 
We got a couple of shield bangas right there. We've got our spearmen in the back. Let's find out what other missions the game has in store for us. Can I go anywhere else or do I have to play the same missions over and over and over again? Oh, there's another one over here. So my renown is three. The Dark Forest. In the shadow of Yggdrasil, the Dark Forest lies. Between its crippled roots, three totems stand, raised in the memory of tragedy long past. Touched by the Norns, who shape the life of men and gods, these totems hold the power for a man to steal back the right to shape his own fate. Cool. Yeah, let's get the gods up and out of our business. They don't belong there anyways. My business is a very compact area, and it only has room for me and maybe my wife. But no gods allowed. Keep them all out of there. Mm -mm. No gods allowed up in my business. By the roots of Yggdrasil lies the magical forest of Alfheim. Dark and tranquil, the ancient tree covers for any life or secrets that the forest may inhabit. Alright, let's have a look around for treasure first, because that seems like the kind of stuff that really allows us to do better. Find three totems of the Norns and then mark them with your sigil. Collect the bones of cursed pilgrims and return them to the tomb. And that's it? That's all we have to do here today? Okay. Now, what's this group move right here? Holding down shift while moving your figurines makes all the figurines in your warband follow it, enabling quicker movement between fights. That's probably a good thing to have then. What is that? Healing herbs. So I can pick up that and it requires a figurine to be nearby for healing. We got bushes on that side. We've got some rather large mushrooms that are a tiny bit concerning. But what does that mean right there? Collected bones of the pilgrims. Okay. So that's just a thing kind of rewinding what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's move everybody forward. I'm going to do my best to keep everybody together here. That is a lot faster. I like it. That's very helpful. Uh, go away, tooltip. I don't need you right now. I don't need you. Oh, it's poisonous. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, you go over there and grab that. I don't know how rapidly it is that I need to make that happen. No! It's an ambush! An ambush amidst the shrooms. Alright, so you moved right there. I'm going to have to have you flank out in kind of a weird way. We should be able to handle that. I don't think it should be an issue. He's losing health at much too rapid of a rate, though. So let's get him on the touch of Eiter. We'll put him right there. I doubt that undeads are affected by poison or anything of the like. I could probably afford to move you back to there and you to there, but I don't think he can strike through right there anyways. He might be able to strike from right there. But there's a pretty good chance I'm about to move him out of the poison when it goes down. That guy's now been defeated. Let's move everybody forward. You are next to a treasure chest. I would like to have that for me. I like me for gold. Not because I'm... Hmm, we're going to need some healing herbs. I think that much is for certain. So go grab those bones. I don't know why you decided you were going to smack them with an axe. You've definitely lowered the retail value on some of the things we can do here, but I'm about to move people piece by piece just to make sure I don't make any big mistakes here. I think this area is like a complete and total grid. I don't think there's a lot of openings right there. So let's wait for the poison to happen so I can move to there. So you go to there, you go to there, you move up to here and wait. Alternatively, you go to there and you go to there. You move down to there. I'm going to have to use the touch of ire. I don't really have much of a choice. That dude's going to catch poison on that side, so we got to watch out for that. As soon as that clears, though, i got to time this right so I can keep him out of the poison. I do like how they put in a little bit of like a rhythm puzzle challenge here, though. It's got to be difficult to think of ways to properly utilize a game like this. Once you've actually got to sit down and plan the whole thing out, I'm sure it's very different in execution coming up with unique ways to utilize the engine that your game is using and kind of the core gameplay template to do unique and original things, and I like stuff like this where it's real time, but due to the nature of the game, you kind of got to move fast in order to make sure you don't get poisoned. Let's take somebody over to the healing herbs. You guys follow up. We shouldn't have any problems over here. I don't know who needs the herbs the worst. I'm thinking probably the guy with the shield and the axe. This guy right here, Baldy. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. Our bald lord and savior. And another ambush decides to jump on in. You, sir, grab that healing herb. Oh, I can just play that whenever I want. Okay. Fall back to right here. You go up to right there. Make sure we got some space to play around with. This dude is probably going to try some shenanigans with that shield.
And I do think we're going to have to wheel and deal a little bit to make this work. You get up to right there. There we go. That's a really advantageous position to be in. And we basically one shot at him and removed him from our notice very quickly. Which is good. I'm like your landlord. I only give that one notice. Man, what is up with these bandits in this forest? These dudes dug in thick out here. For an ambush, they don't really seem to be that motivated to come after me, though. You... Hit him up with a shield bash. You... Use them healing herbs. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Move up to that high ground right there. You get the low flank. And let's just see if we can OTK him. We weren't able to get the OTK off, unfortunately. And this guy decided to take it upon himself to knock him back. Without asking Splatty, which is against the rules. You should definitely ask Splatty before you do stuff like that. This area is kind of thick, though. We've got a save totem right there. I'll probably tool around a little bit and try to clear the map out before I go too ridiculously ham. Uh, let's grab those. So, pickup items have various effects. Some of them are sticked up with a sword to figure... Yeah, I figured that out already. Thank you. Is that just telling me about pickup items? I think it is. All right, well, you get that healing herb right there. You start working on those bushes. You work on those ones right there. We'll do our best to hack our way through and just kind of machete the hell out of this stuff. You stay with him. I can't guarantee that that's a good idea, but I need all these bushes and whatnot to get the hell out of here. Uh, you step back to right there. Regardless of what happens, you'll have yourself the high ground, and you should be able to make that work for you. You bottle them on in, and you get in right there, and I think you should be able to take him. Why are you attacking bushes right now when somebody's trying to stab you to the death? Ugh. Stop attacking bushes when people are trying to murder you, bro. That's a bad move. That's a piss poor play right there. Uh, you've got healing herbs. Use them on your neighbor over there. Won't you be? Won't you please? Won't you be my neighbor? Uh, you back up. That's a super good height advantage right there. And one that I'm actually pretty pleased for. Not just like kind of pleased, but like pretty, pretty pleased with a cherry on top. That kind of pleased. That's a flank right there, so fall back and let them do what they may. You guys fall back to the high ground and let him come to you, unless that's just not working. Stab him up real fast, and you step back. You step in right there. And that should be good enough to get him up and out of my hair. Let's pick that up. And we all have long hair, except for bald guy over here. So things to... Oh, these shield guys over here. I'm sorry, the spear guys over here. Just messing with me. Go ahead and get him healed up. You go... Oh... That was way too fast. That guy had no chance. Yeah, murder with a quickness. Over this way. It looks like we've got some herbs. Kind of a dangerous feel to play, though, over there. Let's slow the game down for a second, though, just to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do. Mm. You guys all step over to here. And I think that's adjacency right there. Yeah, let's get the waypoint real fast. That'll give us some goodies. Everybody group move over to this side about as fast as you can. I'll pick up those healing herbs for future shenanigans that go down because we have this weird tendency to get stabbed a lot. And so if I remember my Capcom lore well enough, red herbs make green herbs much better. If you're trying to get that first aid spray or whatever. I, looking up this hill right here, we got another save point right there. What did I need the bones for? Collect the bones and return them to a tomb. I don't see any tomb right now. Eh, I'm somewhat okay with this. Yeah, you take the high ground first before that guy gets too rowdy. You come in with the flank from right there. Yep, catch them right in the side of their giblets. That dude's gonna step back, advance the shield wall. Perfect. That actually went almost exactly as I wanted it to go. With you guys over here, let's move up and we'll start doing some advanced Viking landscaping, which is actually more complicated than it sounds. People don't know this, but historically, Vikings were pretty good at landscaping. They weren't slouches at it. Like, it's always possible to be worse at it. How come you're not moving up with everybody else? I kind of want you... Oh, somebody got a bow. I don't know how I feel about that. You moved it there. Get rid of that bowman. Oh, we got ourselves an ally right there, too. Keep moving up on these bowmen right here. 
If you gotta get yourself into the fray, so be it. I don't really care about that. You advance on him about as fast as you possibly can. This dude's trying to be like the gingerbread man over here. And we can't allow that. Like, drive him back into a corner and just get rid of him. You two should have the means to hold him off. You've got a zombie on your side. And from what I know about zombies, that seems like it's probably a pretty intimidating factor. If somebody wanted me to go fight the undead, I'd be like, mm, I don't know. That seems like it might not work out for me. We've got Hack on over on this side. I do like the ability that the characters have to pick up items from the map. I'm hoping that there turns out to be like a really good variety of the stuff on the map. Every single level so far, they put in new environmental things that we can play around with. But we'll see how that we'll see how that river runs. Let's look over here. So we've got another waypoint over on that side. I don't see any other bones around. If it was just that one grouping of bones that we needed, where is the Where's the graveyard? A thing of the present. One main objective of three. So that's a totem. I'm praying that I didn't leave any of the other totems around because I was trying pretty fast to get past some of the nastiness that was down there. It looks like we picked up one. But I'm a little bit out of a... Like, what is this over here? Like, why do I care about these bushes? Like, can we do anything about these? Oh. Pretty serious field of bear traps over here. And they disappeared it on me. Hmm. This seems overtly risky, and I don't know how I feel about it. I think we'll just head back on out. Let's get everybody situated. We'll use group move to get us back into the fray here. Don't mess around with any bushes for right now. I don't think we need to. Like, I don't think it's a real present concern for us. Can you actually move up that way? Oh, yeah, move up that way then. Give us an option for flanking if things go sideways. I think he's just... I think the auto move is a little temperamental. Uh, we got an ambush on this side too. I don't know if that's the totem that we need. But it seems like a totem that we want. I don't know what that is right there, but I'm not really interested in messing with it. What is he doing right there? Let's use taunt. You throw up the curse of old age on that guy. I don't know why they're focusing entirely on attacking that, but it seems like it's not working out for me. Like, I don't know if that's a magic spell or what that is. Yeah, play Touch of Fire right there. You play Shield Bash on that fool. You play Immobilize on that person so that they can't run. And this battle turned out to actually be quite a bit more costly than I had hoped. You moved it there. You moved it there. Let's group everybody up and finish off this combat because it's not going well. That is a totem of the future. It said the gods decide the future meant however you're carving a symbol into what is coming. You can steal fate from the gods and take it into your own hands. Okay. I mean, by all means, that sounds all right to me, but that battle was... That battle was a little messy. That battle had a little bit of oomph to it. And I don't know if we're going to bounce back. We need to make our way to a save point before anything else. But I suppose we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of War Tile. If you wanted to see more of this, please let me know. I think it's a pretty fun game. Leave lots of likes down below if it was the sort of thing that you feel like you could be into or that you wanted to see more of. I heard some naysaying about this game. People saying that it's like not that great. But so far, I like what they've done. I don't really have that many complaints about it. I'm starting to think that some of it, I mean, some people said that it gets a little repetitive too with the objectives and whatnot. But I don't know. Feels pretty good to me. 
I'm having fun with it. I'll see y'all in the next episode, if indeed there is one. Hi, everybody, and take care out there.